Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Mittens and welcome back to a new episode of the Nostalrius playthrough. We are here on our Rogue Malevolus and as you can see, I'm in a party. And you know what that means? It means it's dungeon time. But no, it's not Razor Pen Crowl as many people were hoping and as I myself wanted to do. Instead, we are going to take a trip to the Tirisfall Glades to do the Scarlet Monastery. Eh, Monastery? Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. Yeah, I haven't done this dungeon in a very long time. And I'm really kind of looking forward to it, to be honest, because, I don't know, this is the first of a set of dungeons which effectively constitute, like, a, a raid to me in four parts split up. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to do it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to set off now. I've got my uh, group ready, and I will see you once we get to the graveyards. Oh, yeah, guys, just something else I wanted to talk about, just to, uh... Just to get it off my chest, um, somebody was asking about my talents, and I'll just tell you what my talents are whilst I'm waiting for the Zeppelin on my way to Undersea. Um, basically, I was building into a sort of subtlety style build with uh, the increased ambush and then going into sort of backstab crit and stuff like that, and critical strikes and things like that. But really, I think that at endgame, combat is going to be a lot better, and I think most rogues would agree with that. Swords are usually better than daggers. So I... I've rearranged my talents. At the end of uh, my last session, I reset all my talents. And basically, I uh, got rid of this one, which I am going to, of course, put talents into. And I started building, building into combat first instead, uh, after getting the necessary assassination talents. In my opinion, these are necessary talents. You've got the increased eviscerate damage. You've got the chance to add a combo point, 60% chance. You've got the energy regeneration. You've got the increased crit chance. And you've got... Most importantly, your increased duration of Slice and Dice. And you want to get the increased crit chance for your Sinister Strike. Um, but the reason why I wanted to do combat is mainly because of the higher up combat um, talents. I mean, here's the Zeppelin. Of course, you need the Sinister Strike one. But beyond that, there's also this one here. Um, basically, you need to increase... Uh, not this one. This one here. You want to have increased damage done by your offhand weapon because that's that's a massive amount of increased damage especially when you're at end game and you're getting uh really good offhand weapons but i just wanted to uh point that out obviously i'll run through my talents when i get to end game a bit more and i'd also wanted just to say that i am feeling a bit ill right now guys i've got a bit of a cold and i hope that doesn't bleed through into the video but if it does i hope you are understanding and it should get better pretty soon so without further ado i will pick it up once we get to the graveyard Okay guys, so here we are about to arrive at the Scarlet Monastery. You know, it never fails to cause me to feel a sense of awe when I approach this place. Well, when I approach it, meaning in uh, vanilla up to LFG, because you know, before then you wouldn't approach jack shit. And as you can see over there, there's a load of allies. We might be in for some trouble here. Uh, I've got three guys, mages and priests against what seems like priests and warlocks. Well, not bad. One of them's level 41, though, which is uh, not so good, and I think we're outnumbered. But, you know, this is what you get when you play vanilla. Uh, I also wanted to just say, the reason why I made this little clip here before we get into the instance is, uh, I really appreciate people whispering me and sending me mail. It means a lot. It's really nice when I get people speaking to me like that. However, please don't send me anything that isn't like a jokey item. I get a couple of people who send me, like, money and stuff, and I have to return the mail. And it's not that in any way I think that that's, like, a bad thing or that I'm pissed off about it. I am really, really thankful that you would do that. It means a lot to me because I know how much money means to people, especially when they're leveling in this game. But I don't like to accept gifts. I just, I just think, it, you know, it just messes up the game for me, and it just messes about with how... People want to, who watch this series want to feel like I am going through the same sort of situation that anybody else who plays the game is, which I am. So, you know, I won't be receiving any money or any gifts that could help me. Just things that I find funny. So, yeah. I think right now, who are we waiting for? We are waiting for one of our mages. We've got two. And our warrior. But, yeah, we're about to go inside. And hopefully we won't get any alliance trouble. And I'm going to hide over here like a proper rogue. And I'll see you inside. Okay, guys. We're about to go in to the Scarlet Monastery. For the first time in this playthrough... A cause for celebration if I don't get caught on any torches. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the first time we've gone into Scarlet Monastery. This is the first time I've been in the Scarlet Monastery in what feels like... Oh, it must have been five years. 
four or five years since I've been in the old Scarlet Monastery, the real Scarlet Monastery, the one where you need fucking keys and shit to get in. Well, to, into some parts anyway. And here we are, about to run in. Here we go. Into the monastery we go, the dark depths of decadence. And hopefully we'll get some loot. But here we are. Right, we've got a nice group. We should get some uh, really good DPS here. We've got two mages, me as a rogue, a warrior, and a priest. So we've got a pretty uh, classic uh, dungeon group here. What I could really do with is a necklace or a headpiece. I haven't got either yet. Which is kind of frustrating, but here we are. We get to kill all the cool torturer guy as well, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, as usual, guys, I will show you the highlights of this dungeon. It's a very short one, as most of you guys know. I keep pressing M as if looking for the map. I keep forgetting that we don't have maps in vanilla. Going to find your own way. Oh, well. Hopefully this will not go too much awry. If everyone just attacks the right mob, which no one ever does. Good. If we could get maybe another polymorph, that would be nice. I'll throw at this guy. Yep, pretty good. It's always nice to see mages knowing how to uh, kite when they're getting fucked up. And I will put some poisons on. Don't think we have to worry about debuff limits on this. Sorry about my uh, nasal sound as well. This is what you get when you live in the cold lands of the far north. But yes. Should do a bit more damage now that we've got these poisons on. I'm not going to bother with the improved uh, poison talents, by the way. These ones, because... Uh, when you're at high end game, poisons, and even now, poisons are such a small portion of your damage. Those five points could be better spent than something else. So, I really want to go to RFK and get some weapon. I think he's got the, uh, what is it, Fell Reaver? Is that the name of the sword? The axe? Pronged Reaver, that's the one. It's been a while. I didn't realise that thing had Strength and Spirit. What is that supposed to be? A shaman weapon or something? Weird. There are some really strange weapons in this game. Oh, there's a chest over there. Large and solid it is. Scarlet Torture. I'm trying to remember where the boss is. There he is. Let's kill this, this guy off so we can get to the boss. Once we take him out, I'll probably put a cut. Okay, here we are. Always like standing behind a guy and just been able to completely wail on him without any fear of damage. Let the tank take the damage, that's what I say. I'm a rogue, after all. I just did the total noob thing there. Problem with getting combo points back is that you might accidentally tap Slice and Dice twice and uh, halve the time and waste a combo point, which is very annoying. But anyway, hopefully he'll drop his little thing. Or nothing. That's what he dropped, isn't it? The bloody brass knuckles. That used to be a. Well, that became a rare thing. But who? What's this? Ooh, nice. What do we get for that? A cape. Yeah, it's not as good as the one I already have, but still. It's a quest. Let me uh, delete a quest that I already have. I'll just delete this one because it can be picked up right next to Terra Mill anyway. So I may as well do that. And we'll hand that in after we're done. Nice. Oh, shit. Make sure that I don't attack the sheep. I really like how these guys use like the little... Uh, prong things, the little pokers as weapons. It's a cool thing. I remember when I did the uh, Death Knight starting zone, you get the uh, River Dares. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. They're like called the, uh, the Persuaders, I think they are. And you get to stab people, Scarlet Monastery people, ironically, with them and torture them, which is good. Everyone wants that chest right there. The suffering victim. Ooh, the double, the double sheep. I like it. Very well executed. Oop, I don't know who we're killing now. Am I, am I becoming a secondary tank here? Feels like it. Right. I will show you. Uh, we will kill this room and I will show you what was in those chests. And then we will put a uh, gap. I've actually cleared a bit of bag space so that I can do this. Night Sky Sash. What does that give? Nope. Don't want that. Green Silk Pack. I wish I could have that, but I'm just going to pass on these. Can't be asked. Can't be asked. Hopefully, later on, these guys don't run out of there. Uh, yes. 
Let's roll for the chest. Hope for a good roll. And I got a shit roll. But we'll see what was in it anyway. Just for you curious fellows. And the tag gets it. What the fuck? Uh, what are you doing? Okay. What was in it? Uh, a male combat head guard. There. Patent guardian armor. Ooh, I kind of want that. I kind of want it because I've got leather working. I'll ask him. If he says no, he says no. Thank you. I don't know why I want it. I just, I for some reason, I'm really into uh, professions in vanilla. And I don't know why. And I like uh, different patterns and stuff. Even though I'm pretty sure that pattern won't be that useful. It might be useful for druids. Uh, that, that being said, it's probably quite useful for druids. But yeah, even just to make things to sell them for vending. It's just, it's just a fun thing to do. But yeah, we will kill these two guys, and then I'll put a quick cut in the video. Look at me. I do so much damage now. These guys are a little bit lower level than me, but, you know, not too low. I could probably do library as well now, which is nice. Won't be long before I can do armory and RFD, and then we'll get a whole burst of dungeons we could do. But yeah, I will put a cut in it here, and catch up to you guys when we get a bit further in. Welcome back, guys. Uh, a little bit further on in the dungeon, and as you can see... This place, it's a lot different in retail than it is now, uh, in, well, back then in vanilla, I should say, what we are playing right now. And I, you know what, I know that you probably hear this from a lot of people who play the Star Race, but I really like the old version more. I mean, the newer version with, like, uh, Lillian Voss, I think her name is, and uh, the fires everywhere, and, you know, everyone all, like, slaughtered and stuff like that, it's pretty cool. But I kind of like the graveyard like this. It looks so like haunted and desolate, you know, with the uh, gloomy buildings of the monastery in the background, and then these like weird, creepy sort of statues and things. Lord Farquaad there just chilling out. But yeah, if you guys remember how this goes, we're gonna go down in this crypt, and inside we will find a bit of a boss. I think he's called Thanadros or something like that. Can't remember his name exactly. It's been a while, as I said. But you know, I just wanted to show you guys more footage of this because. There's something weirdly haunting, and I think that's obviously the angle they were going for. It is a uh, graveyard after all, but there is something weirdly haunting about the Scarlet Monastery, in my opinion. Like, broken dreams, you know, and like madness overtaking people who were once good and once just. And uh, it's worth looking at. It's just worth enjoying all this footage, especially for people who are thinking of coming to the Stellarius, thinking to enjoy this vanilla experience. Because to you guys who are a bit unsure, I would say... Everything you've heard that's good about this server is true, and it isn't over-exaggerated. And it's free, and you'll make lots of friends, and you will have the nostalgia, and you will have the good times that you miss. So, you know, why not? Why not even just to try it out? I get a lot of people saying, you know, I'm not sure whether it'll be my thing, but it's free, it's like a 5 gig download, so why not? And you know, the more the merrier. I mean, you get some whiny bitch people going on about how, oh, the server's going to be overcrowded and stuff like that. Seriously. I think it would be a lot worse if it was undercrowded. And I'd better watch myself here in case I die. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Whether I had aggro or whether it was some kind of AoE effect. But there we go. Just ran out a little bit. Picked up uh, momentum and came back in. I love these zombies with arrows through their heads. Yeah, I think if we go down here. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Uh, we might wipe here. Yeah, I expect us to wipe here. We might have to be very careful. I'm going to put evasion on. Just it's probably a bit premature, but yeah, as long as me and uh, Vukum can take the aggro, we should be all good. Just slay these motherfuckers. Fortunately, a lot of the ghosts are just uh, like level 29, level 30 non-elite mobs, which is good, because if they weren't, we'd be absolutely screwed. It's the anguished dead. The anguished dead. The lost of the dam that you have to worry about. But fortunately, we get a lot of... Uh, we get a lot of DPS out of this group, which is really good. And I'm going to see maybe they want to do RFK afterwards. I mean, you'll know, because you'll know when you look at the video if it's the same group. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to wait until we get to the boss now, guys. I'll pick it up then. Okay, guys. As you can see, we are about to attack uh, the boss. We've just got this one mob to kill, and then we have to take him on. And I'll tell you what. I remember the very first time that I fought this boss. And I remember even then, I thought this guy looked like a badass. He's got that cool... Devlin Angband, or whatever his name is, uh, look about him, and, oh, guys, this guy, look at him, and he was called, ah, Thalnos, that's his name, and it's time to fuck him up, 
I will be on interrupt duty. There we go. Interrupt number one. Just doing the tank a bit of a favour because this guy, well, he's four levels higher than the tank. Well, I can't interrupt again, I'm afraid. I'll interrupt the next time. There we go. I think, well, it must have failed. Or, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to keep our oh, slice of dice up. I'm just going to rupture him now because he's really low. And I'm just going to focus my energy on just DPSing him down. And hopefully he'll drop something good. And that doesn't look like it's very good to me at all. But I think he is the only boss in this dungeon. As far as I'm concerned. I think it's a one bosser. If such a thing could be. Uh, people ask you if they want to go again. But regardless if they do guys. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a short video. Um, and I will upload another one pretty soon. That will be dedicated to my roguish brethren. Because I get so many whispering me. But for those of you who watch this. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Let's just enjoy that look at the monastery with us as our rogue just sitting here. We're going to have many more adventures in this place, my friend. I hope to see you guys very soon. Stay watching. Stay awesome. My name has been Mittens. Bye-bye.